Alright, hi guys, this is a video for tool sets. This is a new feature that will be in Zootools 2. Currently we are in alpha and uh, we are just preparing it now for beta, which will be upcoming in a couple of months time. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And just remember you can download Zootools 1 already from the site. This is available for $10 for a limited time. What you do is you subscribe for one month, download all the tools and you've got the tutorials for one month. And then when the service expires, you get to keep all the tools forever with a full commercial license. All right, so now let's have a look at tool sets. So what Zootools 2 is, is a modular tools framework for Maya. So this is a way of managing lots of these different windows and UIs so that uh, you guys as the artists can bring them up as quickly as you want and do the things that you want to do to help out your workflows. Now, as soon as you have a lot of UIs, you need a way of managing that. And we do it both in the backend code for all you developers and TDs out there but for the artists, uh, we've just made these really nice ways of accessing it, whether that's through search, right-click menus, these icons, through the through hotkeys, through the shelf, or through a menu system. We've made this way so that these tools can be accessed uh, in various ways really quickly in the one UI system. Now, I guess what's important is that these tool sets are really for the mini tools. They don't include things like the browser, also uh, Hive, which is our new auto-rigging system. They don't include things like the preferences windows, the marking menus, the hotkeys, all these sort of things. This is just another component of Zootools that we will be releasing in version 2, which is a complete rewrite from our code in Zootools version 1. Here, what you can see is how we can use the shelf, which is also being built uh, as a JSON file and we can throw the tools and access the tools through the shelf menu system and throw them into individual UIs. So you can have as many of these windows open as you want. They can be docked, they can move around and be different sizes. And uh, this is just a way of controlling how you want your UIs to sort of come into this system. Of course, we can throw them from hotkeys and we can throw them from the menu system and other places too. We can dock these UIs too, they are fully 4K compatible, so if you've got those nice new monitors, this will all res up and not be teeny tiny little icons as they are currently in Zootools 1. You can drag some of these tools around into different parts of the UI and really arrange them as you want, close them, open them, and things like this. And the colors make it really nice and easy so that you can sort of, you don't get lost. What I was noticing as I was building a lot of the tools for, for UI1 is everything looks the same. So I really made an effort here to be able to differentiate what tools you're using and sort of get to them quickly without getting lost. So there you go, guys. We're really excited about Zootools 2. Really great to see this is a first sneak peek at some of the features. Go to create3dcharacters.com, check it out. We've already got lots of useful stuff in Zootools 1. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we've enjoyed making it.